That's why we said we wanted the crusade. They said we would not get it, but we finally got it. Hallelujah. And then when it was time to pray, we were not much two two 18 seater buses. That was E and I then. Hallelujah. And when we got there, we began to preach. We began to preach. Then it was time for miracles. We had nothing except a word from God. You better hear God when you stand before those villagers. Hallelujah. They are not just young people that you can just deceive. Hallelujah. And then I called everyone. I said, the whole team, all of you just pick one person. And you better pray for a case that we need medical confirmation. Hallelujah. I'll never forget it, Jimmy. Let me tease him. He went to an elderly woman who had, was it a swelling or something on her hand? And with every ounce of, of fear and faith mixed together, he prayed for this woman and when she got healed, you know, elderly people, they don't tell lies. They tell you, I'm, I'm not healed though. And then when she got healed and he confirmed, he was so happy and he was so excited. Hallelujah. We saw all kinds of miracles. For some of us, it was our first time of experiencing certain fearful levels of miracles. Hallelujah. The blind see the deaf hear manifestations of the spirit hallelujah and these things will follow you they are signs hallelujah a sign points somewhere it's not an end in itself are you following me now so the anointing of the holy spirit empowers you for the ministry of signs and wonders to the end that the people will know that jesus is lord hallelujah so don't be afraid go and meet them and they say i have a challenge tell them in the name of the lord jesus i will pray for you and say lord if you embarrass me in this place, I was minding my business all by myself. No, you have to take a step of faith. I've always said it, if you will ever pray for a dead body, the first thing is to stand close to one. Hallelujah. Never forget my experience. They called me to go and raise a dead man. Three days, in the anatomy, um, you know, the mortuary, or what do they call it? Hallelujah. And when I stepped in, I saw several kinds, several dead people. I said, which one? <laughs> you see, it's a who raise the dead when you see a real dead person. Hallelujah. Three days. And um, I laid my hands and I prayed. I did everything I knew to do. When I prayed three times, three is enough in the spirit. When it doesn't work after three times, be sure it may not work. Hallelujah and I prayed for the person I prayed for the person I prayed for the person I told the people get me out of this place you didn't pay me I didn't kill the person hallelujah but then times will come when your shadows will raise the dead that's why God is preparing us how many of you believe that oh yes we are coming to that time when an accident will happen and you, you perform more miracles unconsciously than you will do consciously hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ Yahweh 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 Yahweh
in the spirit there's a reason why we rejoice we stir up the waters of the spirit because the bible says whoever at the stirring of that water whoever steps in will be healed oh there's a stirring we are not shouting for nothing we are shouting because we know the one who can feed 5,000 men with 5 loaves and 2 fish the one who transforms our lives, causing us to know more of Him. There is no one. Be blessing and honor and glory and power forever. Be your blessing and honor and glory and power. Forever. Hear me. I don't know about you, but I know God is not wasting his time building me. I know that there is something. There is the ability of the Spirit at work in me. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly, far above all that we think. He said, according to the power from the Greek word energes, the energy, the energizing of the spirit that worketh in us. We are not ordinary people. God is training us, building us by his word. Let me tell you something I don't know about you, but I am convinced that resident in me is an ability. The power of the spirit of God. To cause change, to build, to bless, to change, to transform my world. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedience, in obedience to Christ. He's transforming everything. Transforming everything. He's renewing everything. In obedience to Christ. 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 The story see who comes in the name of our God. The 
Série C Who comes In the name of our God Na Série C of men to open and the ears of many for you step into a season that you will not say at the spirit of the Lord I am causing the hand of the great to walk upon great parts the Lord says I'm causing the hand of the great to walk upon for it shall be a season like none other say at the spirit of the Lord it shall be a season like none other say the spirit of God it shall be a new season I open up new portals I cause you to walk in great paths I cause crooked paths to become straight say at the spirit of God because you're learning of my ways because you're learning of my ways because you're learning of my ways I cause the coal of fire to come upon your tongue that you speak the mysteries of the kingdom I cause the coal of fire to come upon your tongue that you communicate the counsel of the Father. For I will teach you wisdom, say at the Spirit of the Lord. For I will teach you wisdom, and I will cause you to walk in my way, say at the Spirit. For I will teach you wisdom, I will teach you wisdom. I will teach you wisdom. Have I not said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death? I will teach you wisdom, and I will cause you to walk in my precept, my precept. I will teach you wisdom, the path of wisdom, the path of glory. I step in teaching you wisdom, causing your ears to hear and to behold, stepping into new dimensions. For I teach you wisdom. Say at the Spirit of the Lord. Springs forth like a harvest, first as a seed, and then it spreads, says the Spirit of the Lord. Springs forth. For I cause men to walk in new realms of my glory. I cause men to walk in new realms of my glory. I cause men 
to walk in new realms of my glory. The seeing eyes and the hearing ears I give unto men. The seeing eyes and the hearing ears I give unto men. It is by my spirit and for this season, the seeing eyes and the hearing men, ears I give unto men. When you learn of my ways and I teach you my precepts, I will glorify you. Say at the Spirit of God. When you foreordain, predestinated, glorify. Bible says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Lika proske barian taktu zimaha diana kabash Randa gabarato zofagati ala mosiaha For it comes speedily It comes speedily, said the Spirit of the Lord The manifestation of the things that I've spoken unto you In this season I cause an acceleration It comes speedily by the Spirit Those things that I've spoken unto you The communications of the night time, say the Spirit of God it comes speedily. The communications of the night time. Say at the Spirit of the Lord, I cause it to come speedily. The communications of the night time. Say at the Spirit of the Lord, I cause it to manifest speedily. By grace. By grace. That's what I hear in the Spirit. By grace. By grace. By grace. By grace. By grace. When you learn of the ways of the Spirit, you are built and equipped, trained and empowered, and you will begin to function as though you are a God in the earth. Psalms 82 verse 1, it said God stands in the congregations of the mighty and he speaks to them. Then he says, know ye not that ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. He said they know not, neither do they understand. They walk in darkness. He said the earth is out of course. Koinonia is a place where we learn the ways of the spirit. For Job said there is a path where the eyes of the vulture has not seen. There is a place where the feet of the lion has not trodden upon. And when God brings us into these realities in the spirit, causing us to comprehend the things of the spirit, the knowledge that you have in the spirit, is the authority that you will command in this realm. That's what the Holy Ghost is communicating unto me. I have said ye are gods. I have said ye are gods. Rise up mighty men. I have said ye are gods. Say at the spirit of the Lord. Have I not said ye are gods. Rule. Rule. Take charge. Subdue. Take territories. Say at the spirit of the Lord. I have said ye are gods. I have said ye are gods, gods to the system, gods to the system, I am said. Hallelujah, hallelujah, listen to me. One of the greatest tragedies in the church is that we do not understand the ways of the spirit. Hallelujah. We have many ways. We have many methods to do different things. Hallelujah. But there is a way. The Bible speaking. Jesus speaking to Nicodemus. He said the wind bloweth where it listed. You cannot tell where it's going. And where it's coming. He says so is one. Who is led of the spirit. He said for as many. Who will allow themselves to be under. The governing influence of the spirit. He says such are the sons of God. The Greek word here is weos. Those who by reason of knowledge have attained the same status with their father. The ways of the spirit. The Bible is not just a religious information. 
teaching us to know about the stories and the history and walk in it there you will find rest the rest is when you find the ancient path there are parts brothers and sisters pathways in the spirit that lead men to greatness that lead men to power that lead men to insight to wisdom the communication of the spirit but until we search and then we are diligent enough to allow the holy spirit to bring us revelation Paul said for this course Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus that he will grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light that you will comprehend spiritual mysteries when the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light you will see where men do not see you will walk where men will not walk for he will give you light that will rule in the day and light that will rule in the night he said he made many lights but then he made two great lights and one to rule in the day one the other to rule in the night Lord we ask for the paths of the spirit we don't just want to do religion we ask for the paths of the spirit show us the ways that will cause us to walk in greatness show us the ways that will cause us to walk in kingdom power and authority legislating the council of the kingdom in the earth as it is in the heavens representing him as true ambassadors of the government of our father That's why I say unto you, an heir, as long as he's a child, differeth not from a slave, Galatians chapter 4, though he be lord of all, although by inheritance, his inheritance, his royalty and greatness, he said for as long as he's a child, he differeth not from a slave, but is under tutors and governors. Grant unto us knowledge, O God. Grant unto us knowledge that we will stop walking as men men and begin to live as supernatural people hallelujah praise the lord god is furnishing us one of the goals of koinonia is that we understand the ways of the spirit there is a way that brings the anointing there is a way that brings wealth and glory there is a way that brings prosperity there is a way that brings increase there is a way that brings power for until you understand the ways of the spirit when you understand the ways of the spirit you can align yourself and then it will be done in only legislating the earth that which has been completed in the heavens we do not try to initiate things that have not been established this is the secret of victory in this realm that it be done please represent access i will give you access to the ways of the spirit and by reason of that access everything you bind in the earth would have been what has been bound in the spirit the ability to stand in a position and legislate things across the as we stand in this atmosphere we are not only receiving impartations of the spirit but our minds have been aligned and adjusted to his ways romans chapter 12 verse 1 says i beseech thee brethren by the mercies of god that he offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god he said that is your reasonable act of worship verse 2 says and do not be conformed do not pattern your mind after this world comes from the greek word aeon this age he said but be ye transformed how by the renewing there has been a disalignment between heaven and the earth and so the holy spirit brings us to a point of alignment so that it will be established in the earth the realities that are in the heavens his ultimate agenda according to colossians chapter 1 and ephesians chapter 1 the universal counsel of god is that all things be headed up in christ and that the multifaceted dimension will be revealed in and through the church this is why he's empowering us so lord we thank you for your ways thank you for your word we are not interested in just bible stories and theological dissertations we are interested in knowing the ways of the spirit for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom he said doth not wisdom cry 
she walks in the streets and cries said get wisdom get wisdom exalt her and she shall promote thee he said she shall bring an ornament of glory upon thy head when thou dost embrace her in all thy getting get understanding and he says the entrance of thy word give it light and understanding unto the simple lord we ask for the ancient path according to jeremiah 33 verse 3 says call unto me and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things we pray that you cause our eyes to see great and mighty things hallelujah i like us to pray tonight but let's consider a scripture just sit down briefly god bless you presence of God is very strong and mighty in this place. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 2. Someone with ulcer, I rebuke it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. You came here with ulcer. Listen to me. is gone now we are not negotiating i stand as touching the authority of the king of this kingdom and in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare that you are perfect first corinthians chapter two bless us tonight lord verse four and my speech and my preaching were not with enticing words of men's wisdom but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God verse 6 however hmm, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect the word perfect is mature yet not the wisdom of this age nor of the princes of this age that come to nothing 7 but we speak wisdom the wisdom of god in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the ages unto our glory which none of the princes of this age knew for had they known it they would not have crucified the lord of glory but as it is written i had not seen hallelujah look up verse 9 tells us that there are things that god has prepared is that correct it tells us that i has not seen ear has not heard it has not come into the comprehension of any man what god has prepared that means god has prepared something hallelujah but for some reason the ear has refused to hear and to understand the ways to access those things the eye has refused to see the heart has refused to understand but he said there are things that are prepared there are treasures there are things in the spirit that have been prepared but the bible says something interesting let's read on verse 10 it says but god has revealed them not to everybody they are a class of people that although eyes they, there are things that god has prepared and the ordinary people cannot see the bible makes us to understand that when david came from war with three of his servants they went to the priest and they were asking for bread and the priest told them something he said there is no ordinary bread however but there is a hallowed bread the deep things of the spirit the bible says that these things have been in store however eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not been revealed unto any man hallelujah he said but god has chosen he by let's read on help us tonight lord but god has revealed them unto us how by his spirit so the the spirit of god is the revealer of the secrets of god there are secrets hallelujah the holy ghost is the revealer of the secrets of god in the archives of the spirit there are things there are revelations there are patterns there are strategies for the victory of a believer but the bible makes us understand that eyes have not seen ears have not heard he said they have not even come to the comprehension of man's heart however there is a class of people that have dared to press 
and compel God to reveal to them these impossible things by the Spirit. And then he says something, and this is the basis of my message tonight. He says, for the Spirit searches. The Spirit has the ability to go to the treasury of God and find out where are those things that have been locked up in the scroll that will not be opened by ordinary people that contain revelations and dimensions of authority and power and grace and insight. The Bible says there is something that a believer does that cause the Holy Spirit to start searching. And the Bible says when he searches, he will find what the mind of God is. And he has the ability to bring it back and communicate it to the believer. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm teaching us how to access the deep things of the spirit. And the man stood in front of me and measured a thousand cubits. And it was to my feet. And he measured a thousand cubits again. And then it was to the knees. And he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to his chest. He said, and he measured a thousand cubits again. And it was an overflowing river. And he said, wherever that river went to, every fish that was dead would come alive. He said, the river flowed from the east side of the temple. There are many spiritual mysteries that God's people are ignorant of. And lack of pressing into these dimensions of knowledge has been the reason why we do not command the kind of authority that will give us access to be true ambassadors. Why will someone come and do something and then another person cannot do it and we serve the same God? We believe the same God hallelujah that the access the insights the knowledge and the understanding you have is your strength the strength of a believer is not his physical muscle the strength of a believer is the quality of truth the pathways of the spirit that you have been able to understand the ways of god for when you know the ways of god you will walk like a god in the earth has nothing to do with age hear me has nothing to do with gender has nothing to do with your denominational background has everything to do with your desire to press into more of him i began to seek the presence of god to seek the manifestation of his spirit and his power in my life 2005 hallelujah we were roommates and we will worship i will just stay on the keyboard and worship and he will play the guitar and the presence of god will come and fill the room consuming fire sweet perfume his awesome presence fills this room that was our experience and we began to press and then the Lord began to show me his ways I said Lord I'm tired of religion I'm tired of church I'm tired of deceiving myself with many scriptures in my head but there's nothing in how many of you are tired and really want to be making structural growth in the spirit hallelujah there are many believers that have so many scriptures in their head we have I And so my concept of spiritual growth is not how much you finish your bible my concept of spiritual growth is how much you understand the ways of god you understand his principles and his precepts how much you have come into alignment with the things of the spirit that you can reveal his glory you can be a portal that opens up men to the realities of the spirit Paul prayed a prayer in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. Let's look at it quickly and then we'll come back to Colossians and we'll come back to 1 Corinthians. The glory of the risen Lord verse 
verse 15 Ephesians 1 wherefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and love unto all saints 16 cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of glory may give unto you what the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him 18 oh this is our press tonight the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light enlightened it will cause you to know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power so Paul is saying these things have been established in the spirit but he's praying and saying Lord that you open their eyes that they will access the spirit of wisdom and revelation tonight I want to share a simple secret with us and then we will pray for when you know how to access the secrets of the spirit friends you will reign in this life hear me you will not reign because you bear a Christian name he said rule thou in the midst of your enemies the great man Bishop Oyedeko he said how that things were not working in his life at a point and he decided to go on a word fast he took the word of god and he went to encounter the spirit of wisdom and revelation he climbed upon the mountain for three days traveling and digging in the spirit and there he found certain treasures hear me every man you see trailing the place somewhere has caught certain treasures in the spirit for the proof that you have caught it is that there will be a ripple effect in this earth realm and certain men out of their desperation for God have stumbled across certain treasures in the spirit in their sincere quest for God they stumbled across certain things that set them above are you listening to me I studied the Bible for a major part of 2005 and I found out that the wisdom of God the spirit of wisdom and revelation was necessary to reign and to rule in this life and I began to pray I said Lord you've got to give me this wisdom and revelation do something in me then the Lord led me to this verse and he said son I will teach you how to tap into this ex these are the exact words of God the deep things of the spirit oh for you don't find gold on the surface how many of you agree with me you don't find gold on the surface you do business in the deep for if you can access the deep things of the spirit you will come up with treasures but the Bible says there were two significant lights and at their appearance they had the capacity to overshadow every other light many of us have pockets of lights here and there and here and there we are hitting and you know trial and error spiritual victory however when you touch the greater light listen when you touch the greater light you will command victory victory hallelujah God showed me a light in his word concerning deliverance and casting out of devils when I caught that revelation that was the end of it I said I don't care what level I'm sorry to say not to insult anybody but I see people stand and sweat and pray and roll over demons and do all kinds of things and say how many are left and demon says 18 four hours he's crying the Lord showed me a light he showed me a light in his word you see when you stand to function i like you to know that in the realm of the spirit the lord opened my eyes in a vision some time ago and i saw i saw the spirits of men emitting lights i follow me now emitting lights and i wondered i said lord what is the meaning of this and he told me the degree of their illumination is equivalent to their understanding of spiritual things 
and i saw some people emitting more light their spirits were emitting more light in chemistry we do it you want to find out certain informations about some compounds what happens you expose them to light light reveals in the realm of the spirit from the light you emit i can know your spiritual level are you following me now so when jesus was transfigured he showed us how his spirit man looked pure light the bible says he dwells in unapproachable light and every time we press to be like him we become that light hmm. and as we are changed into that light we begin to command the authority that that light brings that's the reason why someone can speak to a demon and say leave and the demon just looks and beats up the person and then another person passes unconsciously and the demon is crying let me tell you the difference is not their height the difference is the light that is illuminated in the spirit hallelujah and light means knowledge and so paul prays that our eyes be flooded with what light light that we come into the understanding of god's principles such that if i meet you today and your finances are in a wreck i should be able to stay with you and after two weeks i should be able to transmit a light are you following me now that will set you ablaze are you following me now when i step into a family and i find out that there is chaos what happens by spiritual understanding you know what principle and what pathway to take are you getting are you following me this is how to bless people you don't bless people by sympathizing with them you bless people by understanding the ways of god and introducing the patterns of the spirit to their lives jacob understood the ways of god that would bring increase and when he saw the animals of laban he applied a dangerous spiritual principle i'm still trying to find it out till now i've read that scripture again and again i said lord there is a key to prosperity that you must show me what did jacob see that made him carry a black stick dropped it close to water and made animals to begin to reproduce after what they were seeing hmm. light in the spirit The increase and the expansion that we're experiencing by the grace of God in this ministry came as a result of light. One day, I was studying. And I was studying a book by a man of God called Dyke Hayward Mills. And I found something interesting in scripture. A simple Greek word called anakazo. The compelling power of the spirit. An ability of the spirit that compels a man into the will of God jesus gave a parable he said the feast was ready but there were not enough people and he sent the servants to go and bring people and one said he just got married he has to be with his wife another person said he bought a property he has to see it hallelujah and then he said go and bring in all the lepers and the rest and he used the word jesus sent them in the parable he said go and compel them to come he used the word anakazo and the spirit of god brought that light friends the light you have and the understanding of god's ways is what will cause you to rule how many of you believe what i'm sharing is it making sense to you or am i just making noise so that your pursuit for spiritual growth will not just be haphazard there are many of us who our spiritual growths are not constructive yes you are doing devotion but what about the ways of god do you know today that you did not know last week that's the proof that you are growing hallelujah we stumbled across the spiritual principle of god that brings wealth and prosperity and he opened the eyes of our understanding to it by the spirit and even we cannot stop what the spirit of god is doing the miraculous we didn't always experience the miraculous but as we kept pressing into god we kept pressing into god i got angry 
and i told god i said lord i'm tired of headaches just being healed How about creative miracles can those things happen and then i had a dream in the dream i was teaching and when i was teaching i was telling them that there were body parts in heaven and all of these things and and then a voice just sounded to me and said josh you are not walking in any significant healing compared to the dimensions you should be walking in and i was sad i was really sad and then the voice spoke in the dream he said you must find a scripture where i showed something about creative miracles and then it will be released in your life and then the lord told me don't use google don't use anything and the holy spirit gave me expo he said it's in the book of psalms read psalms you will stumble across something that david saw are you following me please are you getting blessed the bible says jacob went to a place did you know that where jacob laid down his father had anointed that place and made a covenant there little did he know and so he stumbled to the place of the covenant and he laid down suddenly a portal was opened and jacob saw he said that he was in a dream and he saw angels ascending what is it about this place that made angels to be ascending and descending and at the top of it was yahweh himself and he gave him a revelation that he only would have gotten in the year king uzziah died i isaiah something happened ezekiel chapter one the bible says ezekiel sat by the water brook and suddenly he was caught up in the spirit there are dimensions that will give us access to rule and to reign let's go quickly to share that one first corinthians help us lord help us lord so we have established from first corinthians look up please we have established from first corinthians that there are treasures that have been kept in store for us do we all agree do we all agree please help me hallelujah that there are treasures that have been kept for us the bible says eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not been revealed to the heart of man what god has kept but the bible says there are a class of people that understood certain spiritual dimensions isn't it amazing that david saw things pertaining the new creation although he was living in the old testament how did david see and see the coronation of god the lord said to my lord sit thou at my right how did he see it how did david know that the holy spirit can stay in a man he said cast me not away from your presence and take not your holy spirit how did david know that the throne of god had gates and courts he said enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise part of the victories that we command by the spirit came as a result of uncommon insight that were given by the spirit and i want to share with us that way and then we pray there is a there is an activity of the holy ghost that we need to understand he is not just an advocate not just a teacher not just a strengthener comes from the word paracletos but he is the revealer of the secrets of god i need to introduce this dimension of the holy spirit to us as the revealer of the secrets the bible says but god has revealed them to us how by his spirit how does the spirit reveal it by what searching the holy ghost has an ability to search the mind of christ and when he searches he finds the treasures of god that are responsible for our victory in this earth realm and then he begins to communicate these ways to us and then when we find these ways we will begin to walk therein the bible says verse 11 for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of that man he said even so the things of god knoweth no man but the spirit of god hallelujah but then he starts by saying something interesting he says when we are among them that are mature we speak a kind of wisdom he said it's not the hidden wisdom i mean it's not the regular wisdom the age that is governed by age and intellect and all of this hallelujah he said it's the hidden wisdom and he said when we begin to speak that hidden wisdom 
it will cause the spirit to begin to search follow me that every time this wisdom of the spirit is communicated there is a searching in the spirit the holy ghost begins to search and find certain things about the mind of christ and then brings them and reveals it to those who are communicating this wisdom are you following me now the wisdom of christ when you begin to communicate this wisdom in the spirit you are giving the holy ghost an opportunity to begin to search the minds of christ concerning your destiny that when you begin to pray and when you begin to communicate this wisdom the spirit of god goes to the archives of your destiny and begins to find out the blueprint of god for every season and then he communicates it to you and then in obedience you begin to walk in the path of the spirit this is the secret of victory there are many people who miss out on the plan the goals the seasons of god in their lives because they do not understand how to search by the wisdom of the spirit and so tonight i'm teaching us how to access the deep things of the spirit the bible makes us to understand that god left a prayer language with the believers listen hallelujah and the concept of tongues and praying in tongues as it relates to our edification has not been understood by many people how are we edified when we pray in tongues yes we understand that we are built up we are edified but how are we edified hallelujah one of the ways we are edified is that when we pray we access the deep things that are in the mind of the father look at me you do not know by yourself the prophetic blueprint of your life i hope you know that you do not know by yourself and hear me sometimes you search the scripture but you cannot find verbatim certain revelations that are customized to your own life i don't know if you understand what i'm saying here and there you may find stories and principles that you can apply but there are certain times you come in your life where you need a customized strategy by the spirit are you following me now at that time the holy ghost goes to the mind of the father and begins to search the file and the archives of your life how did god design that you will overcome in this area and then the holy ghost searches and he comes and begins to communicate these things to you hallelujah god gives you a, a ministry and you are praying and say lord we are trusting you for increase the moment you engage in this principle in the spirit suddenly the spirit begins to search he begins to search and he finds out and delivers to you the blueprint that god has designed for you somebody else will use that same blueprint and fail because he needs a strategy by the spirit are you following me david Yongicho was praying for increase the pastor of the largest church in asia was praying for increase and things were not working and as he began to search the mind of christ by the spirit god began to communicate certain things to him i'll never forget when we were preparing for massacre crusade we had stretched ourselves uh it was three days to the crusade and we needed almost 0.8 million or something in three days we had to raise it the pfn people were calling in abuja and say send money and all of this hallelujah and because of this secret god had taught me i said lord there has to be a strategy how many of you know that every time you encounter a roadblock in your life is simply that you need a strategy until you get the strategy you will suffer and perish but when you get the strategy you will you will rise ah. and i don't care what the challenge is when the strategy comes light has come you will arise you will shine why because your light is come until the light comes you remain there and so i began to pray and as i began to pray in the spirit the holy ghost began to search and then he revealed to me a strategy and that was the strategy that we activated by the spirit and he helped us we had a successful crusade and even on the crusade ground a time came we needed some more funds 
and God gave us a strategy. Many people suffer and perish and, and languish in life although they are kings. They are tongue-talking people because they do not understand this dimension of the spirit as the revealer of the secrets. So many people try to push through their life hoping and wishing that what they are doing will bring the desired results. You want a job. You just sit down and guess and say the natural thing to do is to submit CVs. Why will we not go to the spirit who is the revealer of the secrets? Search the archives of the father. Give me some accuracy and precision in my life. Are you following me now? So that when you search the mind of the father, you will understand what is the counsel of God for you. And then the Lord tells you, just get up and go and greet brother John. Hold your CV on your hand. It doesn't make sense. But that's the spiritual strategy that the Lord has. Are you following me now? I'm teaching you how to access the deep things of God. And you get up and you move like a madman. And while you're walking, there is a divine connection. And then brother John comes with his friend. And he says, we are just looking for someone. Strategy. Comes from the Greek word stratomai. The patterns of the spirit that leads to victory. Hallelujah. I began to seek the face of the Lord over the pros our prosperity as a ministry. And I said, Lord, what is the strategy? And then, as I began to pray in tongues, a scripture came to me. Follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise. That was the strategy. Straight up, no waste of time, no beating about the bush. I started finding out uh, from successful ministries. What were the principles? Hallelujah. And I stumbled across a revelation that Bishop Oedeko shared. And he hit, he struck a chord in me. He said, this ministry, he said the Lord showed him something. That the ministry tithes as a ministry. And I told the treasurer, I said, never should there be any week that we will not tithe. And I activated that revelation by reason of the strategy. Are you following me now? strategies by the spirit one time i was in port Harcourt, i'll never forget didn't have much in my account i just sat down and then i said lord bless me and lord told me give me an instruction he said go and empty your account i said lord how much is there that you want me to empty and god said just do it and do you know while i was preparing to go and empty my account when i emptied my account a few i think the next day or so 6 10 i will never forget 6 10 in the morning a stranger called me called me shaking profusely under the anointing he said is this joshua selman i said yes he said please send me your account number i said who are i told him who are you he said it's not necessary just send me your account number strategies in the spirit many people we suffer so much because we do not know the dimension of the holy spirit as the revealer of secrets the bible says that he searches the mind are you getting blessed tonight because i want us to pray there are many things we need direction for and precision for and the holy ghost is there to bring us into that reality sometimes when i want to preach i say lord what am i going to share and i just pray in tongues and as i look just praying and then suddenly light comes a scripture i've been looking at every time light comes from it and when that's why when you hear someone who knows how to access the deep things of god he will share a scripture you have been studying for years and bring a light that will let you know you you look as if you are not born again hallelujah light by the spirit this is a spiritual principle that we have all practiced strategies by the spirit strategies by the spirit strategies by the spirit everything you see us do we never do anything that we do not have a word for strategies by the spirit and let me tell you the instructions of god when they come to you is the wisdom of god they may not make sense hallelujah one day i was praying for a lady and the lord said i should tell her to lay both of her hands on my head that was a strategy for her miracle it didn't make sense however she got healed are you following me very important i'll never forget steve please come 
we're going to Pangshin for our crusade and the car spoiled on the way remember I mean the car spoiled we did everything we could do the crusade was to start by five at about three we're still on the way can you imagine that kind of embarrassment we're angry we prayed we did everything and everybody just went to sit there everywhere we just said God I mean and then while Steve sat down he began to play the mistral please can you play this good old mistral that's brought us a lot of things strategies by the spirit suddenly God gave me a strategy and Brown I'll never forget at once we got angry in our spirits and all of us everybody entered the car they are all witnesses enter the car and that's how we had, the driver had been trying to keep Steve just started playing and he didn't stop playing and we all started praying in tongues and we told the driver I wasn't a believer so just do whatever we tell you to do now keep this car strategies he tried kick we just kick this car and then he kicked the car that had we did everything we could do and the car started suddenly and that's how we drove that car right to the crusade crowd see let me tell you when you know how to access the wisdom of the spirit you will never be in a position where you don't know the way to come out that's why the bible says for we know that all things a believer can never be disadvantaged because at every time t there is a way to access the strategy of the spirit that can turn everything good or bad in the realm of the spirit it makes no difference god can multiply by a factor that will work out for your good hallelujah we're going to massacre for our crusade and I said, Lord, how will a young man like me stand before the PFN in Abuja and talk to them about a crusade? You know how many of you who are pastors know how controversial all of these meetings can be. People say, you have come to establish a church in our place. I've all you, these small boys. You know, and so on and so forth. But then God gave me a strategy. When he gave me the strategy, I went. Manasseh is my witness. I met the PFN as a corporate body only once. And these people began to run their lives to death organize this crusade many of them old enough to be my father they went out of their ways to do things and when many of them saw me I mean the whole ENI team when we came and they looked at me wearing jeans some of them were angry I said you mean is this small boy that is me it's not about me for when you find the strategy your age your size whether you can speak English or not is totally irrelevant because when it is established in the heavens nothing will stop it in this realm hallelujah it's time for us to begin to rule it's time for us to begin to reign hallelujah every time you see me preach and then I sing and then I preach and then I sing you know why? that was a strategy that was revealed to me when I began to seek God and when he began to walk in me God told me son this is going to be your strategy and so the anointing came and caused me to begin to walk in that way and it has become a pattern are you following me please strategies I hail you most high the clash of the simba many of you find out that I love the clash of the simba because it was a spiritual strategy that was given I found out about the Davidic order of worship the patterns that David followed to access the heart of God and I saw he said praise him with the ten stringed instrument praise him with the clash of the cymbal I truly hear you most high I hear you most high I said, Lord, grant me a supernatural ability 
that I will never lack words to speak in due season. I said, Lord, what is the spiritual pattern? What dimension of the spirit is responsible for that operation? And then the Lord took me to Psalms 45. My heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. He says, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. My tongue is a pen of a ready writer. And from that day, what the Bible calls the gift of utterance came upon me. The ability to communicate spiritual things. To compare spiritual things. Spiritual. Hallelujah. I told God something. I said, Lord, grant me grace. So I don't run into trouble and live an immoral life and do all of these things said lord i'm a young man what's the way forward and as i prayed the lord gave me a revelation hallelujah he gave me a revelation from his word he said now unto him who is able to keep you from falling jude 24 has only one chapter and light came from that scripture it was a strategy Many times when I talk to ladies, I tease them and I say, if not because of that scripture, maybe I'll have children that will fool your luxurious hostel. But there is a strategy. The Bible says, how can a young man keep his way pure? He said, by meditating on the law of the Lord. Hallelujah. Accessing the deep things of God. By praying in the Spirit that every time you begin to pray in the spirit what happens the holy ghost begins to search the bible says he searches the mind and begins to that's how do you know that that's how many that's how many people in the world write songs by divination hallelujah they listen to yani or under the influence of all kinds of things and the demonic spirit starts searching and he searches the new trend of music that will happen in the next five years and brings it and reveals it to Michael Jackson and all of these people and then they begin to sing it and they open up the new trend that's how the Holy Spirit can search things the Holy Spirit who sees the future will search things and give you instructions now that will not make sense but as you walk you will find out that you are walking in the wisdom of the are you listening to me when the woman came and met the prophet he gave her a strategy he said what do you have in your house and the woman said nothing except a cruise of oil he said quickly go and borrow vessels borrow not a few are you following me now we must know how to access the things of the spirit never try to do things in the spirit without the word of god and the voice of god giving you the strategy you will fail no matter how it looks like it's working he said the spirit searching all things yea the deep things of god and we're going to pray right now we're going to say lord as i begin to pray in tongues such deep things concerning my destiny many of us need deep things concerning the new levels of our lives Many of us need it concerning our finances our, and our businesses. Stop beating around the bush. Search for the strategies of the spirit. Rise up on your feet. We're going to be praying in tongues. As you pray in tongues, pray with the understanding that the Holy Ghost is manifesting himself tonight as the revealer of secrets. The Holy Ghost has given people names of streets where they met managers, directors that were linked to the next levels of their life. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Take it serious inside and outside. Inside and outside. For the Holy Ghost has made these things known. Search, search the spirit of God. The 
counsel of the Father concerning our lives, our finances, our businesses. Go ahead and pray in the Spirit. Concerning your ministry, such pay the spirit. It's an intelligence of the spirit. It's a manifestation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. My sheep share my voice. Come on, pray. Your fail in the spirit. Receive strategies that will change your life, that will make you a wonder. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to me. I watched a, a program on it, Supernatural Seed Rock, interviewing John Hunter. And they shared the story of a woman who had been trusting God for the finances of their family. They had done everything they knew how to do. Hallelujah. And then she went to the Lord and she prayed. And the Lord caused her to sleep. When she slept, she saw an optical design. You know, something about medicine, just optics. And when she got up with that same revelation and she drew it, I follow me now and she took it to the hospital just casually and then she showed the consultants and when they looked at it they were all amazed and they looked at her they said where did you get this she said she found it from her dream I follow me now and then they looked at it they said they had been researching to solve the problem that that optical design brought and they said for starters they give her right there and then 20 million dollars a check of 20 million dollars as a result of receiving a strategy from the spirit i have seen an evil upon the sun that servants are riding on horses while the princes walk afoot he said you will die like men men and fall like one of these princes hallelujah strategies some of the songs that we sing here they are strategies you just pray in tongues and you lie down and sleep and suddenly you hear the melodies of heaven hallelujah so praying in tongues is not just a symbol of pentecostalism it gives an opportunity to engage the holy ghost to begin to search mysteries about your life i challenge you this week write out the areas of your life where you trust god for wisdom for direction for breakthrough and begin to allow the holy spirit to search out for strategies are you listening to me strategies by the spirit jacob had a strategy and his 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 cattle were were even more than that of laban strategies by the spirit Joseph had went to the Lord and lifted the threat letter and cried and God gave him a strategy. He said, this is the strategy. Let the worshippers be in front. I'm giving you a strategy. Don't use another one. It will not work. The Holy Ghost searches the mind of the Father. He says, this is the strategy. Customized to bring you this unique victory. Can I tell you something? A strategy may work for you today. It will not work tomorrow. That's why you never assume on the Holy Spirit that at every time T you seek him to find out strategy. That's why Jesus told someone, get up, take your mat. And then to another person, he spat on the ground. What was he doing? Receiving strategies. While it is yet morning, he will retreat and go and travel and allow the Spirit to search. And then when they brought vessels, he said, fill them with water. Go and serve the people. What kind of thing is that? strategies by the spirit when he was delayed in his life he was praying and praying and praying and the holy ghost after praying he got up received the strategy and started walking on water walked on water and caught up with the people i am convinced hear me friends if you receive a strategy from the lord you will reign in 
this life are you ready to pray now say lord my spirit is open for my job for my life go ahead and pray spirit such we cannot know the way until you reveal it to us dear spirit of God there is a way for your finances, there is a way for your life, for your destiny, for your promotion for your increase, there is a way, let the spirit search the deep things of God Come on, engage the spirit, communicate the wisdom, engage the spirit, it will set you above. Make a palata sick at the mother, Rakata Barrios, Lebron was so big, Rakata Baranabasa. Come on, pray. The Holy Ghost is searching. Pray. The Holy Ghost is searching the deep things of the kingdom. Come on, pray. You will hear a voice. The voice will say, This is the way. Walk, Terry. Then you will find rest. You will hear a voice. Pray until you hear the voice. Pray until you hear the voice. It's a sacrifice. But when the voice comes, you will find rest. When the voice comes, you will find rest. Pray, access the big things for your family. Lord, how are we getting out of this debt as a family? Pray, how are we getting out of debt as a family? You have suffered until the strategy comes. The suffering continues. You can read your Bible, but until the strategy comes, it's tied to the voice of God. Come on, pray for more. This is for your destiny. Pray for more. The voice is speaking. Pray for more. The voice is speaking. Pray. The voice is speaking. In the name of Jesus. Speaking, speaking, speaking. The Holy Ghost is searching the deep things of God. It has been written in the volume of the books. It has been written concerning your life. Your life is not a mistake. Your life is not an accident. It has been written. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hear me. The word of God says, No, I come in the volume of the book as it is what written it has been written your life has been drafted you are a prophecy in fulfillment stop struggling what is in the book let the holy ghost guide you your life should not be trial and error according to the prophetic pattern that has been written in the book what is it for your life hallelujah hallelujah we are not on air today not because we cannot go on air according to the strategy we receive from God the season has not come yet so no matter what motivation someone brings we'll say thank you when you hear God you will know how to say thank you to opportunities that open but are not of God not every open door is anointed friends are you listening to me When I began to search for the venue for Koinonia, I was praying by the Spirit. I love praying because I know the Lord will shock me with a new strategy. I had a list of many ministries that I wrote. And as soon as I was praying, I was just praying. And then I had in my spirit CGC. I saw written CGC. That was it. No struggle, no nothing. I said, Lord, how will this happen? And then we went to prof's house and god connected us through prof and we have this venue today what you see today is a brainchild of the strategies of the spirit hallelujah 
the voice of God will end sorrow in your life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Believe this. It's God's provision for you. When you find yourself in a crossroad, stop crying. If you could help, you would not be in the crossroad in the first place. And so trust the Spirit. Take on the wisdom of the Spirit. Begin to pray. Many of us just pray because we want to feel electrified. And then we fall down and then we get up. No. Every time I pray, I pray with excitement. Because I say, just give me room. Let me pray. I tell them every time in the leaders meeting. Whenever we are speaking and there is a situation, I say, no. Let's pray about it. Oh, for when I go to him in the secret, the Holy Ghost will search. He and I initializing 2011 November. What is the prophetic blueprint? And then the Holy Spirit says, son, this is what you do. And then when God tells us what to do, whether we like it or not, we are going to do it. It's not about your feelings. It's about his word. Hallelujah. When they were building Canaan land, they had fixed all the doors and everything. And they found out that there was an adjustment they needed to do in the auditorium. Hallelujah. And the, 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 the truck that they would push in would not enter because and all the architects with their intellect and everything, they said, we we'll have to break this door. Oedipus said, no, don't break any door. And he went and locked himself and began to pray. And when he prayed, he came out. He said, here's the strategy. Puncture the tire, push it in, pump it back. Simple. Strategies by the Spirit. Isn't it amazing how we suffer again and again until the strategy of the Spirit comes? That's what we do sometimes when we are ministering. You see us do foolish things. We can just say the Holy Spirit says, Shout Jesus. Strategy. That's the kind of meaning. That's why you see for every case, there is the wisdom of the Spirit that guides. And all we keep doing is worshiping until the voice comes. You can't guess and assume. You will be disappointed. We wait on Him until His voice comes. And then the Lord begins to move and says, Let the people shout Jesus three times. And then we shout Jesus and we ourselves are amazed seeing the wonders. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that from tonight they will learn to pray in the Spirit until that voice comes. Receive the quickening grace of the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the quickening grace of the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The ability to stay until you hear divine direction from God. You will tap into the wisdom of the Spirit. You want to go and preach somewhere and they say preach on greatness. Just say ah greatness I know the scripture. Why do you know the scripture? You begin to pray. This is our secret. Let me tell you something. A prayerless Christian is truly a powerless Christian. And then a Christian that prays amiss is also a suffering Christian. Because you pray for hours. I see people pray and fast and fast and fast and pray for hours, but they pray amiss, beating about the bush, not knowing the ways and the path of the Spirit. Have you learned something tonight? Hallelujah. So throughout this week, this is the assignment now. Write it. You're going to list all the areas of your life that you're trusting God for victories and breakthroughs. And you will lock yourself somewhere and pray. Put worship song. Hallelujah. And pray in the spirit until... Pray with your Bible in your hands. Because oftentimes the Lord will communicate his wisdom to you through the word. You're just praying and you hear Isaiah 25 verse 18. Write it down. Keep praying keep praying then you will get a direction and when you move you will find rest for your souls I'm tired of the status quo it's gotta be more than this we're tired of the status quo it's gotta be more than this it's gotta be more it's gotta be more, it's gotta be more than this Gotta be more, gotta be more, gotta be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things. Desperate people do desperate things. 
in our lives please listen please please listen a lot of problems in our lives a lot of issues in our lives a lot of challenges in our lives setbacks and limitations in our lives are caused by the presence and the influence of demon spirits I need you to understand this a lot of the predicaments in the lives of many people limitations setbacks lack of progress right are caused by the presence and the influence of demon spirits jesus did not leave us in the dark as to the possibility of strange spirits interfering with human activities the bible says while men slept this is jesus speaking he says the enemy came and he planted something they woke up and they saw what he planted are we together now and he said the enemy has done this it was jesus himself that said the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy so let's settle it once and for all that there are certain areas of our lives right certain challenges setbacks in our lives that are a direct result of the presence and the influence of demon spirits praise the lord i feel very sad for people who don't believe this because you see spiritual realities are like laws you don't have to believe them for them to exist they are there are we together now so no matter what perspective how you argue whatever it is it doesn't change the fact that it is there if i call promise a woman no matter how i try to convince you he knows he's a man it's up to your opinion you can have your biological uh, conviction as to why you think he's a female but the truth remains that he's a male figure hallelujah praise the lord so a lot of the problems in our lives are caused by the presence and the influence of demon spirits. But many other problems, and here's where my teaching starts, many other limitations, many other setbacks in our lives are self-inflicted. Please listen. Please listen. While it is true, I started by letting us know so that we settle it that there is a place for demon spirits. But it is a lie for us to convince ourselves that everything in our life is caused by demons. No. A major part of the things that happen, the limitations, right? The obstacles, the, 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 the setbacks, the problems in our lives many of them are self-inflicted meaning that they have happened by our authorization we authorize those things to happen in our lives and this is going to be my first challenge for us tonight because if i can get us to a point where we close the door to self-inflicted limitations self-inflicted problems self-inflicted issues i guarantee you for many of us, over 60 to 70% of your prayer requests would have been answered. Are we together now? Many of the issues in our lives today are the effect of our consistently violating the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life. Write it down most of what we are receiving in our lives are the punishments literally the punishment for violating the laws of the kingdom and we do this all the time we do this once and again 
many people many sincere people seated here looking at me passionately desiring god to step into their lives many of us keep crying yet we keep violating the laws of the kingdom the laws of life and we keep getting punished again and again and again and again and again and again hallelujah imagine trying to bath a pig are we together now and the water with which you want to bath the pig is muddy is that not a counterproductive venture because at the end of it you are just adding more that's how many people are so we come to god trusting god for a miracle but the truth is in our hearts we are unwilling to find out the role we have played over the predicaments in our lives it is generally not a natural human tendency to accept responsibility it is easier to pass blames at demons and people and government and parents are we together it is a lot more comfortable to point fingers at people but every time you come to god if it is god you come to he will first bring you to a place where you identify by the spirit the role you have played in authorizing the tragedies and if you are humble enough to receive i don't care what the situation is you qualify for the mercy of god the mercy of god never appears before people who are arrogant and unwilling to realize the fact that a part of the problems in my life may truly be caused by demon spirits let me tell you something if satan listen if satan suddenly disappears from the face of human life many people's lives will still not be improved are we together if there is a certain prophetic pronunciation from heaven every demon plus satan all of you relocate to one part of the world and never go out from there you would think in one week people's lives will change you would be surprised to find out that for most people their lives will remain the same Is God helping us tonight? The effect of our consistently violating the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life. Let me tell you something about laws. By laws, I mean principles. Laws are unemotional. Laws are unemotional. There's no sentiments to them. There's no tribalism human beings can have soft spots based on tribalistic ideologies based on uh, geographical ideologies based on relational ideologies but laws the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life right they are unsentimental they are unemotional meaning your cry your tears will not change their effect number two laws are unforgiving amazing laws are unforgiving very unforgiving number three laws are non-negotiable there's no bargain you cannot negotiate the laws of life and you cannot negotiate the laws of the kingdom it's impossible there is no amount of begging that will make a woman carry a child for only one month and say my case is a special case i'm not very strong if you must be pregnant get set for nine months are we together it says according to the time of life this is a law of life are we together there is no amount of jumping up and down and singing praise and worship that will ordinarily make a man become established no there is a law are we together there is a law of growth these are laws of life if you plant beans today and come and get a full grown beans stock it's a sign that you need to run away or seek an explanation from god whether it was a special miracle to teach you something imagine that one of these little babies they just gave birth to them and by the next day they are speaking and say mommy you need to understand the way life works 
You see, it's either the gift of prophecy is walking through that baby supernaturally or that baby is not really a baby. Are we together now? I know this is funny, but it is very, very serious. Laws are unemotional. Laws are non-negotiable. Laws are unforgiving. This is the part of laws that make it serious. They are unforgiving. You violate them, you get punished immediately. There are people who never rebuke you when you do something wrong, right? Some of our parents are like that. They still guard, they keep gathering it like a book of remembrance. And when your cup is full, they just open it and start from the time it happened till that time. But laws, you violate them immediately. You don't fall from a building and not feel the pain until after two weeks. You just have... No, 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 no. As soon as you hit it there. If you didn't feel the pain, is the extent of the destruction that has happened to your body. But the pain is there. Are we together? The laws of the kingdom. Let me show you three important principles we have been violating in our lives that have brought upon us self-inflicted tragedies. I teach these things because I love every one of us. And it's a challenge to be wiser, to be better, to rise more. Number one, the first principle that I believe many in the body of Christ have ignored. That's why we never become successful. That's why we never taste of the greatness that the word of God says is us. Is that we lack determination and persistence. Please write it down. You hear me hammer on this all the time. We lack the determination and the persistence to succeed. Life will never hand you the keys of greatness when you pursue life in a play it safe easy and i don't want to be hot attitude no you've got to be determined you've got to be persistent everybody say determination say it one more time say persistence we lack persistence we lack determination how many people have not gotten jobs today they think it's the devil Ask them how many CVs they have submitted. And they tell you, I submitted three. Can you imagine the person even looked at me and said, I graduated with a third class. He lambasted me and I said, I will embarrass myself again. It is that kind of attitude that will keep a man poor forever. Are we together now? Yeah. We are so egocentric that we are unwilling to pay the price of determination. How many pastors want crowd? They want a great church, but there's no determination to succeed. Determination is what fuels diligence. Determination is what fuels hard work. You must be determined. Let me tell you what determination is. It is the attitude and the resolve to succeed that is greater than the pain and the challenges you will meet on the way. Whoever possesses that quality must succeed. Greater than the pain. Greater than the embarrassment. Greater than the ridicule. Greater than the mockery. Greater than the misunderstandings. You sustain a paradigm. I was born from this family. We never had opportunity for a nice meal. We ate once a day. We struggled for instance. And you make a determination. That in the name of the Lord. What my parents could not give me. I will give them. I make a determination. Are we together? How many people, young people, you ask them, did you write jam? They say no. You say why? They say there's nobody to buy jam for. But that person has a phone. Are we together? A phone of 40,000. It took determination to get that phone. Are we together? That person you are seeing has not gone to school, but he can operate an Android device. It took passion. It was the passion that made him to go and look at another person's phone, although he did not have it. Are we together? Many, there are many of our young children, they take last in class and they can play computer game with their eyes closed. It took determination to become a master. Are we together? 
listen we need to redirect our focus and get serious about success success is not for weak people success is not for lazy people success is not for fearful people success is not for those who chicken out in life right the man who will be successful is the one who can get up when you fall while people are laughing just keep cleaning your body when you succeed they will eat back their words i guarantee you determination so many people want to succeed we think god is a magician that's why we love prophets and many of you pressure men of god around oh prophesy to me speak to me have you not heard what timothy um well, the, the encouragement that paul told his son in the gospel timothy he says this charge i give unto you timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy i have given you a prophetic word right war with it no determination no determination at all are you determined to succeed the answer is not yes the answer can be seen listen the proof of passion is pursuit what are you pursuing what occupies your time what keeps you awake in the night when others are snoring away their destiny when young people are sleeping as if they are 60 years old your mother at 65 is sleeping you to a child of 20 you are lying down by her side two of you are sleeping same time waking up same time i tell you you will lick the feet of destiny if you don't rise up and take your destiny seriously we violate this law i told you to be sensitive because for some of us this is your prophetic word already god is telling you it's time to jack up see the most the greatest failure in life is not the one who tries and fails is the one who is less than fair about everything i don't like those kinds of people they i will never be friends to less than fair people people who are lukewarm in everything a little of god a little of women a little of beer a little of 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 uh um what now laziness a little of sleep a little of hard work those kinds of people are dangerous because they they don't there is nowhere they stand being friends with them would destroy you a little of loyalty a little of betrayal it's better to know they are for you or not for you a little of everything if you have those kinds of friends let me tell you the truth break away from them i repeat break away from them don't keep all this loyalty we grew up together we went to the same school so what when it was time for abraham to go and offer isaac he left his loved ones his relatives there are times you need to even leave your family members because sometimes they love you too much to allow you succeed are we together they love you too much every time you want to take giant steps they say i play it safe oh you know the way this our life is no no and please let me challenge us especially for our loved ones and our parents here i believe in responsibility but no parent should over pamper their child no parent my children will be born in a rich family but they are going to wash their clothes i guarantee you in the name of the lord jesus christ they will wash their clothes whether they use washing machine or their hand they will do it they will learn it they will learn how to cook all this lawlessness and indiscipline that we call opportunity no it's not opportunity determination many people think they are not succeeding because there's nobody to help them but it's not true the person gets up and goes to steal when you catch him and you say why did you steal he said oh why wouldn't i steal my father sleeps around my mother is dead and that person seems to justify his situation did you try going to ask somebody to give you a cutlass to weed their house and you receive 500 naira for it see we we don't have persistence i'm telling you this we lack determination Is God speaking to us? Determination. So we are lukewarm and we are cold. We want things to happen to us automatically. It doesn't work that way. You've got to work it out. How many preachers want to know the word, but they don't, want, they don't have the determination to learn? You never see them studying. 
you never see them do anything they don't get up and tell you my ministry by the grace of god will work see nothing in your life will work till you commit yourself to making it work how many marriages want to work automatically how many relationships want to work automatically there's no such thing as that there must be a labor on your own part to enter your rest number two the second principle we violate consistently to our detriment is that we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding please write it down the second mistake that we keep making as believers to our detriment is that we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding the bible says wisdom is the principal thing let me tell you what we pursue we pursue the children of wisdom we pursue what wisdom can produce money fame glory greatness those are children of wisdom are we together now it's like a man who wants a child but does not want a wife it is the presence of a woman and her ability to take in right that will produce a child so you want a child yet you do not want the responsibility of getting married it doesn't work that way everybody say wisdom everybody say understanding i have learned in my life by the word of god and experientially the excellency of wisdom and understanding for many of us what you need is simply a key a certain understanding wisdom and understanding to take you from where you are to the next level the bible says through wisdom a house is built he said by understanding it is established and through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing wisdom I remember years ago I used to fall into a particular trap of foolishness again and again it had to do with relating with people and it was one wisdom key from Mike Modoc I was anointed I loved God but there was so much foolishness in that area and life kept punishing me one wisdom key from Mike Modoc that set me free and this is what he said never try to be God to anybody that wisdom was my deliverance never try to do to people what only God can do to them that one key alone set me free and there are many more of these keys we do not passionately pursue wisdom let me tell you something many of us sit down and we want wisdom to come and meet us no you pursue do you know the bible gives wisdom the attribute of a woman it's only a foolish man who will cross his leg and allow a lady to come and meet him and say marry me say hey, i've been waiting for you are we together now only a foolish person would do that wisdom everyone say wisdom everyone say understanding I can see your passion for wisdom by how many successful people you are willing to sit down at their feet to learn listen listen let me tell you I am amazed at how many great people pass us and listen I want to challenge us right now we travel for ministrations all the time whenever we get to where, where they are checking us the hotels where they are checking us the people in the hotel some of them are cleaners some of them are maybe those who are just waiters or whatever it is they watch men of God business executives sometimes political figures come and wait at the reception for instance to see me for hours yet they are the same people that have access to clean the room are you seeing lack of wisdom and it never occurs to them what is in this man that is making these people who are already great to a measure come and wait 
is that not an opportunity to use the use the opportunity of scrubbing a toilet and just kneel down and say man of god i don't know you will do something to me how many people pass? listen how many people do you pass every day who have the keys to your miracle but because you have no passion for wisdom you trivialize their presence let me ask you three questions that will surprise you how many people undergraduates or people who are yet to get admission have ever gone to meet a first class student and buy wine and sit down and tell him sir do you have something you can teach me that will accelerate my success how many of us here we have access to our daddy here prof right there are all kinds of people how many of you have ever said sir could you give me an appointment at your schedule i just want you to teach me about life you have been able to raise your children and you are successful we don't want wisdom that's the truth are we together that's the truth anytime i want to succeed in an area my first assignment is to find out those who are excelling in that area at its best and i will pay any price within the boundaries of righteousness to follow them i have pursued uncommon mentors they stung my ego but i still pursued because i know what i'm looking for many of us are too arrogant to be wise we are too arrogant to have understanding we do not submit to the laws of life and it punishes us I had the privilege of sitting down with a great man one time man of god and i was asking him questions i was throwing questions at him and he looked at me and he said you are very wise i was asking him questions and when he got access to koinonia page and he saw what god was doing he said ah it's not like you are struggling in ministry and i said no anybody greater than you knows something you do not know if you will humble yourself and pursue it will make your life easy let me tell you still related to the second point we we don't ask questions that's why our lives are hard we we work with too much assumptions we don't ask questions when you see somebody who is rich truly rich you don't pay the price to ask him what are the secrets what are you doing we are living in the same world when you see somebody who is anointed you never pay the price to say how, how are you doing it a brother is looking for a wife there is another brother with 10 ladies wanting to marry him and that one is angry instead of humbling himself to say i asked five ladies out i even had a dream about two they all said no my brother is there something you are doing and he tells you ah this is one secret about ladies they always want an environment of joy and peace your environment is very choking very serious make that adjustment wisdom is God speaking to us we live lives on assumption assumption is the least level of knowledge you can't afford to assume on your destiny ask questions I ask questions about ministry I ask questions about greatness. I ask questions about different areas of life. When last did you ask a successful? See, don't ask somebody who is struggling just like you. Love them, but they are not the kind of people who... Pro you see, let me tell you why many of us fail. When things are not going well, you meet your colleague that two of you are struggling together. And you say, what's your idea about this? They say, thank you for asking me. And I think it is A and B and C. Learn from everybody, but pursue successful people. Learn from everybody. Even the ant has something to teach you. So learn from everybody. But don't sit down and mentor failures. You will be like them. I never pursue average people. I never pursue weak people. I never pursue people with results. I pursue people who know how to reproduce the results. Show me a man that knows nothing but has the humility to seek wisdom. That's why I love my Bible. 
my bible for me is god's treasure of wisdom mike modok can, can you take it down he sings a beautiful song one of his best songs he says your favor is like sunrise wiping all my nights away i found the cure to my foolishness i can't trust my life outside this world there's too much foolishness that culture has given me there's too much foolishness that growing up as a young man has put in me i need something to edit my life to wisdom and this is what i found that's why for me the word of god is a matter of life and death it is your cure for a foolish life lift your bible and say the word of god is the answer to a foolish life say the word of god is my cure for a foolish life see don't be embarrassed by what i just told you and don't feel insulted in every one of us by default there is foolishness it will not remove itself like that it takes the word of god the more i read the word of god the more i see how foolish i am outside of the word of god i've seen things listen there are times a few people who who have access to my private life see sometimes i'm studying the bible and you can see me i can just stop and tears are just running out of my eyes because i found the answer to the cure for a foolishness in my life if you are embarrassed that there are foolish things you are doing you will never rise i love sitting at your feet that's his song i love hearing what you say i love knowing your desires i'm so pleasure to obey your favor is like sunrise driving all my nights away i love sitting at your feet every single day i love sitting at your feet every single day whose life are you unembarrassed to pursue and learn from if there is nobody before you no successful person you are pursuing passionately to learn wisdom i guarantee you life will punish you again and again I don't want to be poor in my life i hate poverty and so i made up my mind to learn everything i could learn about wealth i still am learning i've studied the wealthiest people on earth literally all the billionaires one by one i've studied their lives i've studied people who demonstrated wealth in the bible abraham isaac I've studied men like Bishop Oyedepo, Kenneth Copeland, David Ibiome, people who represent the portrait of a prosperous life. I pay the price to seek knowledge. I've studied the largest churches in every continent. I know them. I can tell you without thinking. I've studied the lives of the pastors. What brought the crowds to them? I've studied the lives of very anointed people right from the generals to great men like Benny he what was their secret the reason why we fail again and again is we are not studying successful people the Bible says in Isaiah 51 it says look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that body he said for I called him alone and I blessed him and I increased him look unto him meaning understudy his life please cut short your journey to success by following wisdom pursue it wisdom leaves trails behind if you are interested you will find it 
Don't try to discover a road that has been found. Ask for the ancient parts. Don't labor trying to discover it. It's been found. There's nothing you really want in life that somebody has not gotten. So that's the second law we violate. We do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding. There are times I can lock myself up for two days, three days, and all I'm watching is videos upon videos. Videos of men of God. Sometimes I can play worship songs or play the videos of men of God. And while it is playing, I will just be praying in tongues all through. I have in my phone videos. I partition my phone into different compartments. Worship songs. Teachings that bless me. I'm not pursuing. Say in the name of Jesus. I make up my mind to pursue wisdom and to get understanding. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I don't care what is not working in your life right now. I don't care what the ridicule is. You can determine the lifespan of your tragedy by the speed with which you pursue wisdom. You prolong your tragedy when you fail to seek wisdom. You prolong your tragedy. Ah! The moment you find wisdom, begin to rejoice. Even if you are in the fire. Because you are coming out. For sure. For sure. Number three. The third principle we keep violating to our detriment. Is that we do not live by the truths that we have found. How true. Some of us. And for many of us who have been coming for koinonia and have had access to the teachings the truth is many of us there are very few of us that will say we do not know certain laws especially in certain areas but we do not live by the truth we know you see knowledge is not power consistently applied knowledge is what is power the truth you know that you do not live by notice i did not say practice let me tell you another mistake we make many of us try to practice we don't live by you see when you try to practice a thing it's because your conviction about it is still dwindling when your conviction about a thing is certain you don't practice you live by it those who practice principles are conscious of the results those who live by principles know it must produce they have moved past just results. Ah, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Job was so confident that when a man hooks up to God, he can come out of everything. And he says, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. It was this understanding that made Daniel, listen, Daniel was not trying to practice faith. He was living a life of faith. That's why when they threw him in the lion's den. Let me tell you how those who try to practice these principles behave. When they try to practice, they are looking at the other end of it for results. And the moment they don't find results, once, twice, those who are trying to practice prayer, they pray for one week and then they quickly watch the result. And they say, this thing is not then they gas out they try to look for something else but there are those who live by prayers those who practice trying to study the word those who try to practice staying in god's presence listen don't try to practice these principles live by them meaning sustain a conviction that is beyond their producing results to you that if they never produce results you cannot undo them again we do not live by the truths we know inaction and disobedience has been one serious reason why many of our lives have been stuck in one place inaction closely related to this we don't take steps we never act we are afraid listen i shared it during the graduation of our school of ministry students you will have to take a step one day and walk on the water 
a day will come you must take that step you must take that step take it and fail but take it the one who takes a step and fails is more honorable than the one who never takes any step the one who wrote jam five times and failed is more honorable than the one who just sits down and didn't write jam are we together the one who tried to look for 10 jobs with zero results is better than the one who just kept his certificate lying down and complaining and saying in the days of our parents government used to give people jobs step out of that comfort zone step out of that place of comfort I know somebody who got a job he got a job as a student I think he was in 300 level when he got a job he had mastered it was something that had to do with IT and he knew it so well he went and took a step and wrote a proposal and you know when he wrote it they asked him they thought he had graduated and served and when he wrote everything they said okay so um, what did you study he said no I'm, I'm still a student in training and the man said walk out of my office he said sir please give me about five or ten minutes according to what he said if I do not convince you that I know what I'm doing I will step out and the mistake that man made was to give that guy ten minutes and he wowed him there and then they gave him a job he was paying immediately he finished he went to serve there he's still working there but there are other people who that man is their uncle there are people who are neighbors to that workplace how many people for instance who live very close to cjc here and have been oppressed by demons for many years and have never come to just sit down it's just a two minutes walk am i right just a two minutes walk when they see people gather they'll sit down outside and be talking when i step out they say that's him and then all the stories that follow him. are we together disobedience you must live by conviction so I've identified three things let's review it quickly number one is lack of determination see if you want to be anointed you will be anointed the reason why the anointing has not come in your life is because you have not pursued it diligently you are pursuing the anointing as if um, have you seen a hungry man looking for food yeah it doesn't say please microwave it uh, sharply i mean somebody that let's say three days fast I, I i don't like food that is cold or it looks like why this rice is looking sticky it's like it has spoiled he will first eat it is when he's done you say ah, but this rice why is it tasting like this because he divorced it that's how you must pursue life everything i do i seek it with see that's why i'm hardly committed in many things because i have a contagious level of commitment I'm not committed in many things in my life but when i commit to things i stay there i stay there i'm committed to the assignment that god has given me even if i come for koinonia and i find only two people i will feel bad i will go for a retreat and ask what happened but it will never make me just get up and say talk lord that's it um let me just dust my form and go and look for pilgrims uh, what do you call it a trip to Jerusalem to just go there and be like many Nigerians and never come back just dodge and run away or let me go and look for green card and relocate to America no Kai you must have the spirit of a fighter many of us don't know how to fight we are too weak to succeed you must have the audacity of winners is God speaking to us tonight? Please, you are not the first to fail. You are not the first to try. You want to build a house, you have only five naira. You will sit down there and die not building that house. If you really want to, you will build it. Say after me, I have the spirit of a winner. Say it. Say I have a determination of a winner. Say in the name of Jesus. I will weary failure until I succeed. Say it again in the name of Jesus. 
I will weary failure until I succeed. I remember one of our great ones, Mazi Prosper, is his wedding in I think a week or two from now. And he returned from the States and came to my place and he was thanking me. We were talking. I met Mazi Prosper in 2004 when he started his comedy. The truth is, he wasn't very funny. When he started all those things, sometimes you just laugh. It's more of his face that makes you laugh than the joke. Are we together now? And so I said, Kai, this guy. But I encouraged him. There were times when he would send me a text and say, ah, what happened? Somebody promised him that they would give him a show. And then they would later push him back for another person. And he should continue. I told him, keep on. Keep improving yourself. See, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, it's okay for people to laugh at you. It's not unusual. Let them laugh because they'll be the ones to defend you tomorrow. They can't say you jumped the process because they'll say, I laughed at him. Even me, I thought he would fail. Let them laugh at you. Are we together? They saw when you started the business. They saw when you started the saloon. They saw when they came and locked the shop because you could not pay rent. They even helped you to pack your things out of the shop with the embarrassment. Continue. In the midst of that tears, go back and study. Find out who is the best hairstylist. What are their secrets? Labor and pay the price to get knowledge. When you have the leading saloon in any place, people will say, I said. I said it. Even those who criticize you, I knew you would be successful oh brothers and sisters it's great to conquer challenges the other side of pain is sweet I tell you this from experience the other side of pain is delightsome a woman carries pregnancy spitting all around looking as if she would die but when the child comes people come to visit her and they bring gifts and she looks at a new baby and she's blessed learn this the other side of pain is glory unlimited If you think it's costly to be successful, let's consider the alternative. Are you ready to consider the alternative? Failure all the way. Pain all the way. Broken down and spread through your lifetime. It's better for me to take 10 years of my life and pay the price and live the remaining part of my life making a mark for the kingdom than living in denial and living in fear and living in lies for 70 years of my life. And in my old age, I find out that the prophecy of those who hate me have become self-fulfilling. Be determined. Go for knowledge. Unembarrassingly go for knowledge. See, seeking wisdom will sting your ego. Settle it before the time. Someone came today and met me with a proposal. The first time he sent me a text for the proposal, I didn't even reply him. I just left him. Not intentionally, really. Probably I didn't pay attention to what he was saying. And then he sent it again. And then he sent it again. We returned back from a trip yesterday. He sent another text for me. And then I was talking to a few people this morning. And then he called me. And I said, this guy is serious. I told him, come. When he came, I wasn't concerned about the proposal. I collected it. Look at what he had to it was something about his company he needed advice and I dropped it and I said you are a smart person let me add value to you and I told him sit down I began to share with him a few things I've learned and he was amazed I gave him a few videos I said this will help you I would never do this to anybody by default even my blood brother if you don't seek it you will never get it please stop trying to help people who do not want your help they will trample on your help I've learned this. Learn it. Never try to help people who are not prepared for it. They will not appreciate it. If you are not thirsty and I bring water, you can carry it and stone it back at me. Are we together? Thank you, Jesus. So pursue knowledge. And number three, live by the truths. Live by the truths, please. How many people don't tithe? I tell you, I can almost tell you that more than half of the people here are not consistent with tithing. Don't blame God for closed heavens. I can tell you this. I can look at your life 
and unashamedly tell you the areas where you are not living by the word of God. It's not a lie. And be sincere with us. Is that all right? So that we don't come and lie and fall under the anointing and sweep the ground and get up and go back. We are not living by the word. God is my witness. Ask those who are close to me. Everything God blesses me with before I think of anything, the tithe, God's portion is out. I don't practice it. I live by it. It's a law. There's no man who jumps up and continues going up. You must come down. It's a law. Are we together now? Why will you keep punishing yourself by fighting the laws that are older than your existence? Why fight the laws of God? Why not come into alignment? I have learned the excellency. I found myself many times violating the laws of the kingdom and my goodness the experiences have been nasty align yourself with the laws of the kingdom and you will find freedom true freedom they know not the Bible says neither will they understand he says they grow up in darkness and the whole earth is out of course wisdom it is wisdom that brought many of us here are we together listen when Saul lost his father's when his father's donkey was missing Saul and one other person and the servant they were on their way to look for it they tried looking for it by themselves and they had to acknowledge and say look every knowledge we know as far as recovery is concerned we have exhausted it he said see let us take another alternative that's what brought many of us here there are many people who will not humble themselves to say see i have tried this situation i don't know whether it's demonic or it's my own but at least let me go to an atmosphere where i can find explanation if you do this you are wise are we together if you do this you are wise and they said there is a man of god let's go and meet him even if we are wrong let us find somebody who can tell us we are wrong notice everybody who met a man of god to solve their problem the man did more than what they, are, they came for he trivialized their problem look at naman his breakthrough was only seven baths away yet he lived his lifetime suffering i have learned by experience that breakthrough is not difficult it is access to the platform for the breakthrough that is hard but the day you find a place of breakthrough Brothers and sisters, in 24 hours, your captivity of decades can come to an end. The price is not to get breakthrough. The price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility. That's your price. Is God speaking to us? They went to Samuel. The major issue was the issue of restoration but when they went to samuel listen all that samuel told them was is it not the donkey it's been found please there are more important issues can you imagine to them that was the big deal let's look for our father's donkey but samuel said leave the issue of donkey i speak or yeah it's been found look at naaman when naaman went to go and meet elisha what did he say go and bath it even come out just go and take your bath seven times ah. He went to take his bath and that was the end of it. Brothers and sisters, tonight, many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades. But it is for you to recognize. Your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere. Now step back and allow God to step in. You see that? Your own part there are few prophets that I've met in my life. True prophets. One day I met a man of God. A true prophet of God. And I was explaining a few things to him. Areas of confusion here in my life. Do you know that before I would talk to this man, he looked at me and smiled. He said, did God not show you what you are going through now? Ah. And I just looked at the man. He said, you are pretending as if God did not show you. But did he not show you the other side too? See that? 
Yeah. Go and take the yellow book among your books. Read it now. Page 70. That's where God gave you the prophetic word. That's, he said, please, this issue is not the issue we are discussing. Let's discuss the next level of ministry. How is Koinonia doing? This is a prophet speaking to me. Ah. How about the dream you had of the next level? This is what we're discussing. I went for something else. I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem, my rent, to oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came, for, how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. But don't joke with God. Once you are in that atmosphere, expect him to do more. Expect him to do more. Hallelujah. There is one requirement from you tonight. That requirement is to accept that you need help. That's the last thing I would require from you. If you can accept before God and say, Lord, I've tried everything I know to do. I know that this thing is not as hard as it is, but I submit myself to your wisdom. You have changed the lives of people within 24 hours. You have brought restoration and healing and hope for people. Brothers and sisters, that sickness can leave. That it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay. You can choose to hear this word from God and argue it and just say, well, nice preaching. Your problem only affects you. I hope you know. But you can tremble at his word and say, this is the key. One prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help when a man comes to the end of his life i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself when you come to that point and you say lord you spoke to me that i'm going to be a kingdom financier I'm short of ideas. I've come to the end of my life. Lord, I need direction. I don't know whether it's job now or marriage. I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State. I need direction. You will never, never receive direction and help from God by default. Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David. I'm sure people said, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step, is surrender you must receive his help because you can reject it you can reject the help of god before we begin to pray papa adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair and that man was on a wheelchair and people kept giving the man money he became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Deboe looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. And he, he was led to ask him, do you want to be well? The man said no. He looked at him, ha, ah, be well? Why should I stand up when my life has changed on this chain? And truly the man told him, all I want is money. I don't want to be I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry. That's according to Papa Deboe. He said the guy was angry because he said, now I'll have to work for myself. No excuse again. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I need help. Mention the areas you need His help. If you don't need any help, pray for Koinonia. Pray for the ministry. Lord, I need help. Pray. I need help in my marriage. Pray. I need help in my finances. I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Shababaka prada bala 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 Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish it is within your power to bring restoration it is within your power to give me a child it is within your power to cure HIV it is within your power to deliver me Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace 
to pursue wisdom to seek wisdom like a jewel we receive grace to pursue understanding we receive grace to live by the truths that we know we receive grace to be convicted hallelujah hallelujah shortly we are going to begin ministering we'll be very fast today i want to see how we can close on time so we're going straight to the point hallelujah we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now ss you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight confusion must end in my life tonight that idea that i need for my business that idea that i need for promotion that restoration i refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word apara koto pasikete bela de bos raga pakata pras kaparata balada ba segere bere 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 de bos oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life. Lord, I must be delivered today. Hallelujah. 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 In recent time, I have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time. There are people standing outside just staring at others. Forget about them and be focused. You know what you are going through. Miracle service is not, it's not a marriage ceremony. It's not an album dedication. You don't come and just watch and smile. You come with anger in your heart and say, Lord, I, I won't go back that way. Who told you SS cannot be healed? Who told you AS cannot change? Who told you the, the biological problem cannot go? Who told you you cannot get breakthrough? Lord Jesus, we thank you. We release this atmosphere to you and your power. Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of 
the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers so in one minute just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start please if you are yet to write let's just give them an opportunity please help one another with um, papers you can feel free to put on your phone contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer requests if it's possible there are many who have sent their own hundreds online hallelujah praise the lord please make sure you write everything write everything you are trusting god to do in your life
Hallelujah. 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 It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want. Hearing a name Femi, not not Pastor Femi. Femi, I'm hearing a name Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi, your name is Femi. Who is a visitor? You are the one from where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. No difficulty. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yeah. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name, Victoria. This is Victoria. Let me just respond. To Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S S A S. Anyone like that? This is a Victoria. I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype.
we have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer praise the Lord hallelujah father visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where is your mother who is sick who is sick in your family my mom because I'm seeing that ah we have to pray I have we have to pray hmm? this is December your mother will just sleep and they will tell you I'm not a prophet of doom they will tell you that she's dead she has been talking about death we have to rebuke this thing she has been seeing dead people in her dream she sleeps and she sees dead people and they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them some of them are people who have died before see there are families here with those things but we are going to deal with it praise the Lord father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for this family that spirit of death over the family in the name of Jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit and for you I curse this spirit that is in you in the name of Jesus when the time for deliverance comes the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the Lord is saying I should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what I'm saying you have to pray and trust God for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things God is giving you number one God is giving you wisdom number two God is giving you stability huh I see you but I see like a wind you are here and there God needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of Jesus come my dear I pray for you you will marry a foolish man say amen I curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit come um, I have to pray for you hold my hands Lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke this spirit you must leave her I see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my dear do you love Jesus very well huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Okay? Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start the ministry. What's his name? Joseph, huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. 
hallelujah please lift your hands i want to begin to minister deliverance is very important very very important is the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences you see sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction and i'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of god is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but a lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart i challenge every spirit i challenge every voice and every altar oh god that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight lord i pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside i release the power of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit right now right now right now right now right now i see the power of god along this region right here where the ministers are staying i see the power of god right now i cast that spirit i challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there are people who are tied to covenants i hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of god will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah i'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of god will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of jesus lift your hands now i pray every family here under any spell every family lord where are they right now let the power of god touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell i bring deliverance right now i bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of jesus i bring deliverance help that lady i bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted i'm going to pray i see fire 
rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please we command it in the name of jesus bring them out lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies. Whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way. Let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout Jesus, let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. Shake it, it, it up my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please by the power of the holy spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the holy ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord 
who came with this woman i'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh i see okay okay go ahead in the name of jesus christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of jesus god is already giving you a miracle by the power of the holy spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of jesus christ look at look at this god is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes. But right now, God is touching you. Like Your back will be paining you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That back ache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't if we talk to you speak whatever language you can speak there will always be somebody to interpret it it doesn't have to be that you must speak english whose, whose mother is this eh? well done mommy what's what's the issue what brought her here she has been complaining of different illness mama what's wrong with you i got bp i got bp this 20 day my belly move like this 
as I'm looking at our mother mama as I look at you I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach that thing starts moving is that and then it comes towards your chest area yes, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here yes, sir. that devil will leave you right now Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ you believe in Jesus I'm going to pray that God will use this lady because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her you what's your name faith faith yes sir you will be a woman of faith you believe that let me pray for you father anoint this lady let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that God will use you mightily mama let's pray for you lay your hands on your chest please in the name of Jesus Christ God is healing you right now high blood pressure high blood pressure and every other sickness I rebuke it right now and I command the spirit that oppresses you to live in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands I want to pray for those people right now that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me please believe why is she out Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't see it for long unless I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son, you are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. We are, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she? My problem is one year. I'm eating in the dream. You are eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Last month, on today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I cannot be sleep. I cannot be eat. Uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we'll pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no, our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him i will sing to him a new song i will praise him i will sing to him a new song and i will praise him i will sing to him a new song i will praise him I will sing to him a new song And I will praise him I will sing to him a new song Every force Kabbalah Tabarada Keep your hands lifted That has tied down your business All the works of your hands Some of you will feel fire on your hand 
literal fire it will start burning on your hands right now in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now it's happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas ideas this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord now as we pray for the sick i know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yeah. yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief please make your way to the front it's called a miracle service look how many people are trusting God for healing forward all the elderly ones to the front please all our elderly ones Looked around and I realized that you've been so good to me. standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more Source of my strength, now you, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence, now you, the other source of my life, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence. show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... oh she went to bring Matt they brought the girl on his... what's wrong with her she has been sick for over six months now but they have been not they have not ever been no diagnosis you will look at her and think it's HIV brothers and sisters hear me when a spirit enters a man it leaves out his character through that person oh 
Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We, we will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. One of the two um, cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight. Look at. And Basr. The me? Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile. Cancer. HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Kudaoko. Uh -huh. Kudaoko. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus, oh, Kina. Kana Osa. So say. Kede in Ali. Kasuna. Kede in Kasuna. She never hear Osa. But is that not your language? Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Kana Ji. Eh. How old is she? Help her. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married. With two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command it to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down on the glory here as I pray for other people I mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen I assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But Mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? 
Where would they for Abuja? Nae, the bubble. Where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food with yeah. you. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb? Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast? Yes, I now fall down. I, know, I cannot get out. They carry me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb, bomb blast that happened in Nyanya? Yes. So, it affected you? Eh. Uh, so I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months. Go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they go. They carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say oh. hospital no figure. A doctor. Oh, herbalist. Eh. Uh, okay. Flying man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen. Let me let me press it down. Any man. I don't care who. Who tells you to bring money to get a miracle even if it's me run away are you hearing what i'm saying mama our mothers i'm begging you in the name of jesus christ any man any priest any prophet any pastor any apostle any human being herbalist whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle tell him joshua selman said he's a thief he's not a man of god are we together and now we start the cure the thief the if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, then like that, four months, you go and no go. The man now time to bring 30,000 again. I said, I know even see food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I know see food to to my children again now. And now start the bed, the man, no grief. That man, me, I'm a girl for some yeah. room before. We Mommy, for some what, what? Now I can't serve, I can't serve room here. Come and say, come and I work out for prayer to prayer. But I the not prayer for you. When they say, I know they come. I know they come. I'll just lie down. They feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. What, what, what exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. So, machine just come. You say, Where the grass and at this church? He says, Oh, make a come, make a go in Opa. Where come the usher people? So, where they go, they go to my I say, I know people can. These people can serve God, then, then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God carry bless our me. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come the advice me say make I no hurry to enter. So and now where they start they play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my with my now this one they take stand because all this side you know. And now suddenly stand up. Uh, stand. God come give me a the strength. My power. What what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I go so. Oh your with the leg. Oh I see. Father. It's, it's okay, madam. Ma Mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now. Eh? In Jesus' name, we'll pray for you. If... She couldn't walk, oh. There is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast. But, oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her, and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. 
the more you take that step of faith the more you see god stepping in father this miracle is perfected in our body in the name of jesus christ god bless you just keep exercising her we we'll have to pray please any special case who we'll minister at our time is gone i saw the spirit of death she was supposed to die in that bomb blast i didn't even know it was nyanya bomb blast that Boko Haram bomb blast may you never be a victim of any man's wickedness in the name of jesus christ the moment i pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus short of blood i look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what i'm saying this is demonic you understand what i'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and i need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of jesus christ i command that spirit that devil of darkness to live Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying one month two weeks a hole in his heart if God does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen I tell you we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report 
baby will speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of Jesus Christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as I lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you just a touch the Lord is wiping your tears the Lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pain the Lord is wiping your tears now in the name of Jesus out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of Jesus Christ
Submit a prayer request. Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands have been laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you.
presence there is power when we worship you together you are here when we gather Stretch your hands. Do, do we have all the prayer? Please stand up, everybody. We are wrapping up. Inside and outside. If you are yet to drop your prayer request, please make sure you send it. We believe this is this is is not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write these requests to Joshua Selma and I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. 
Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. This is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while. Madam, you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people. Look at me. I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you. You hear me? If a man does not come to marry you, go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied. You believe what I'm saying? I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this. Because as soon as I looked at you, you said spouse. I saw a man putting a ring in your hand. That's why I'm telling you what I'm saying. You believe this? Be sure to return and give the testimony. And everybody be sure to look at her. You are seeing her today. When she comes back with her husband. So you don't say that. This is stage manage. Father, in the name of Jesus. I prophesy it. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just cover her. I'm going to pray. Let me have. Okay, it's props water. I wish there's any other one. Just to pray on it and then they'll give her. She's too weak. We can't even test her whether or not. But I see her moving her legs and moving all of this. This is ordinary. Okay, this is ordinary water. We'll just pray on it. Since that's the only thing. She's a child, isn't she? Bata child, isn't she? Say me. Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this thing. So I'm like, yeah, The take a chance. You see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. Can you see her gaining some strength? She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this. By herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. The Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakuabane Zesha, Kramata Dua, there was a son Abata. If you keep it there, all these children will come and see. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on this request. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. 
something about building a house and it looks like you will not complete it the lord is saying before december 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the lord tell him your request is here let there be miracles oh god let there be miracles in the name of jesus every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. please lay your hands on your head I pray father mm, this will come mighty on some of you a baptism of the spirit of wisdom Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the powerful name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now 
in the name of the lord jesus christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job those hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life 
we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder I speak it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying Lord Jesus I'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the Lord Jesus Christ has done and you are saying Lord I want to surrender my life I've been living my life the way I want but I want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to Christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute I know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and I will lead you to give your life to Jesus Christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what Jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything I know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly God bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them God bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with Jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying I'm tired of playing games with God I want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the Lord Jesus I want you to lift your right hand and say after me Lord Jesus 
please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you tonight i surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in jesus name father i pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you in the name of jesus now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much sas mass thank you for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here